so I'll be looking at uh, some of the questions uh, I received concerning this training. The first question uh, here is, uh, is it advisable to search for keywords to use in saving a video before doing so? Yes, obviously, um, it, is, it is advisable to search for keywords, but again, it depends on the, the nature of the videos you're making. It depends on the nature. Because, it, uh, for instance, uh, since if, if, if a channel is focused on comedy, then uh, searching for keywords before making your comedy skits would not really make sense. Uh, of course, when you're setting up the channel, you have to search for some related keywords that people normally enter into their search uh, uh, box, in the YouTube chat search box or on Google when they're looking for comedy videos to watch. So like things like African comedy, Niger, Niger comedy, um, comedy, you know, anything related to uh, humor and what have you. So those are like general keywords. It, it, they are not things that you have to look for each time you want to do video. No. Um, uh, we are going to actually look at a couple of channels to see what is going on there. But, but like um, when it comes to uh, other kinds of videos like maybe tutorials and what have you you discover that um, you have to search for specific phrases that people are searching for. For instance, now if I want to know how to use uh, a DSLR camera, I'll go to Google and I'll type how to uh, use DSLR camera. Or I might say how to make videos with DSL, uh, DSLR camera. Or if I want to learn how to edit videos, I'll go to Google and I'll, I'll type in things like how to edit videos, how to make videos with, with my smartphone, how to make videos with an iPhone or what have you so related expressions so definitely if that's the kind of video you want to do instructional videos then it will be good for you to search for the relevant uh, uh, keywords before you even start shooting your video or you can you can search for those keywords after you, you finish uh, shooting your video what, what what's very good is that you can use a YouTube to no, sorry a, a Google tool like the key, uh, keyword planner you, you type in a particular phrase and they will give you other, other phrases that people are searching for as well. So what will not happen is that you may not take any of the phrases, the search phrases, as your video title. Then the other, the other search phrases, you can use them as tags for your video. So again, like I, I said before, it depends on the kind of video you're making. If it is comedy video, if it is um, dance videos and what have you, then you may not have to research keywords when you are doing them uh, like in the case of dance or uh, let's say you want to choreograph a dance with a particular video title then obviously your your title is going to be the artist that is doing all the song uh, then the, the song title then followed by the word choreography by your channel like in this case choreography by stand standout tv that will be the title of the video Okay, so let, let's look at some examples and also let us uh, look at some interesting statistics, you know. So right now I'm uh, in Google Chrome and we are looking at a, uh, a channel belonging to AY. AY is a comedian, uh, a Nigerian comedian. As you can see from this uh, uh, channel, it is by the way you, you're able to see this thing by the time you you link your channel to tubebuddy by the time you link your channel to tubebuddy then you, you'll be able to have access to this kind of analysis so ay is a comedian a nigerian comedian and uh, by by looking at this uh, analysis you can see he has 257,000 subscribers each month um his total views to date is about 59 million and he's done 611 videos so far uh, this analysis will even show you the estimated amount he's making in ad revenues from YouTube. So we're looking at uh, anywhere between fourteen thousand dollars, forty thousand eight hundred dollars monthly, and two hundred thirty-seven thousand dollars. And you can even see the average number of views he gets per video. So in this case, getting like ninety-six thousand eight hundred views per video he 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 uploaded. On this side, you can see that in the last thirty days, he he added about two thousand seven hundred and thirty subscribers so this analysis gives gives a lot of important information but the other thing I want us to look at okay let me close the analysis that book when you look at the videos he's making you you will see that okay like this one AY shows supporters kids or world recession tidy 
you know this thing is not like keyword you search for you know so for comedy you don't really need to search for keywords you know to, to to give it a title just describe what 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 happened what happened in the in the comedy skit that, that, that that's all that is needed look at this one pepper them cynthia facebook now this is not like uh, something you will search in order to get a title before you start shooting so basically you have a concept for your comedy video and then you do your video and give it any title you like but one thing okay let, let, for instance let me let me open the recession tiling thing and let me see how uh, uh ay optimized it in terms of tagging because the title in this case is not really telling us anything it's not something it's not like something somebody uh, a viewer of the channel will go to youtube and be looking at oh um, let me mute this video okay so looking at uh, uh, the tags you can see the tags he used it was tagging other comedians and so on and so, so but we don't know how 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 well this is working for him because obviously now he has only 4,000 views on this video which he, uh, he uploaded eight days ago well being that is just a week old he's having only 4,000 views on this video but you can see the tags he used he tagged Don Jazzy, Tiwa Savage, Timaya, AY Life Comedy, Bovi, uh, Basket or uh, Mouth Comedian, uh, Nigeria, Olamide, Two-Face, David Do, Comedy Skit, African Movies, Free, Nollywood Movie Whiskey we don't really know whether some of these uh, tags he used are helping him to draw views to this video we don't really know because uh, for instance uh, this particular comedy skit now i don't think he has anything i i i i didn't I, i'm not watching it by the way i'm not listening to the skit so i don't know if he has anything to do with don jazzy to wasabi timaya maybe he mentioned them in the comedy skit maybe that's why their names appeared here so i don't know but this is how he did it and if you look at the title again you see that it has nothing to do with having done some kind of keyword research so that's all about uh, co comedy okay let's look at a different uh, uh, channel okay this one is using ads by Ezina. Ezina is a dancer she's based in London she has a choreography studio where she trains other dancers and she has a dance group what she does is that she, chore she choreographs music for some popular artists I want to have her most popular videos okay let's look at her channel ladies so that, would, that, would, that would help uh, really understand what's going on basically she's done 17 videos for this channel by the way the channel is not uh, exactly new so but she's done 17 videos for this channel and the average view per video is about 240,000 views <clears throat> the average views per month is 107,000 views and she's making anywhere between $1,000 and $16,300 in terms of monetization so in the past 30 days she added 516 uh, um, subscribers then for ch uh, channel tags she, she only has a zine zine ads or production as a channel tag and by the way channel tags are different from the video tags channel tags are like the general uh, you know words or expressions that people look uh, put into the search engine when they're looking for videos like the one that your channel is making so like when we look at um, let's look at the uh, p squares uh, channel again okay we'll not we'll not analyze that of p square but let, let's look at um, what channel tags they are using uh, oh, some of this thing is okay yeah p square okay it's only just p square vivo uh, that's the channel the channel tag for this we're not going to analyze this well. let's finish with the z ads oh. so we can see that she has made only 17 videos so far and and yet she has a total number of 17,000 subscribers or out of which she added 516 subscribers in the in the past in the last 30 days so something is beginning to emerge here um the number of videos you've made so far in your channel may not really be an accurate indicator of uh, how uh, 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 good your channel will be doing generally more videos should should make your channel perform better but the quality of the videos matters a lot let's let, 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 let just look at an example that of this square you can see the analysis here they, they only have 21 videos but the the, the, the average view per video is 14 million and in a, in any given month uh, about 3.51 million people watch their video on this particular channel 
and they are making anywhere between seventy three thousand dollars and one million dollars per video per, per, uh, yeah as in i don't know if this uh, estimated monetization is per year or per month that's what i don't know but um this is how much the channel is ma making for them okay and they don't even belong to any network we'll, we'll talk about network in a within some moments uh, we'll talk about network okay in the last 30 days p square added 17,500 su subscribers so and they only have 21 videos in the channel just 21 videos total views so far is 295 million so you 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 you, you can see where they got the average of 14 million per video 295 million divided by 21 videos giving them about 14 million per, per, per video so really the number of videos is not or uh, well likely what makes a channel to perform well though the more the more the number the better the channel performance but i think there are other factors for instance this is a, a very popular brand so people know them very well anytime they release any music video obviously uh, a lot of people are going to be searching for those uh, videos furiously on youtube the ads is just a, a choreography outfit managed by someone that is not even well known i just mentioned her name now is in a, a, a sinugo or something like that uh, i'm sure you may not have heard that name before so she's not like she's a very popular person like that but on youtube she she's a, she's a, she's popular on youtube but even at that she's done 17 videos and it's only getting a total a total uh total of 4 million views so far on all her videos whereas peace pair with 21 videos is having 295 million views so 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 what it means is that uh, the quality of the videos they matter too, the subject matter of the video and also how uh the the status of the the uh, the owner of the channel you know or the the artists that are being featured on the channel matters too as in it doesn't belong as in the as production doesn't belong to any network we'll talk about a um, network in a moment okay so back to what we we're saying about video title the title is only important if you are doing a video related to something people search for all the time on the uh, on google or youtube for instance i'm always searching for how to videos because i i am a learning freak so one moment you may see me searching for videos on how to uh, uh, make a web page or how to set up a website or how to how to I, 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 I do a lot of how to searches all the time so such such kind of videos if you are a maker of such videos obviously you have to go research what keywords people are actually using when they search for your kind of video you can do this research either pre-production or post-production so it is your choice but one of the benefits of actually doing your research before you make the video is that you get a sense of the, the kind of audience um, engagement you will get so if for instance you during your research you discover that not a lot of people are typing in that phrase you may reconsider whether you are even going to do that video or not let me just give you an example yeah, this one this one just got, uh, got into my head now or uh, there's uh, this uh, okay nigerian how to make a uh, nigerian meat or uh, pie how to make nigerian meat pie okay okay so i'll go i go to the video section how to make nigerian meat pie all nigerian recipes yeah i think they, 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 they. Uh, yeah they, this is the one i'm looking for all nigerian recipes channel i want I, 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 I want you to notice something uh, about, about about this okay how to make nigerian meat pie how to make meat pie is a keyword so but this person is did a video on how to make uh, sorry let me okay yeah the this thing is muted okay so how to make nigerian meat pie so obviously when people start for making meat pie they will be typing in things like how to make meat pie how to make or uh, how to bake a meat pie how to make some will even be typing in how to make nigerian meat pie you know okay let's do some analysis on this look at the tags do you know what this channel is using you know how to make nigerian meat pie baking nigerian snacks nigerian food recipes how to cook nigerian food nigerian food nigerian whatever they so and check out the number of views we are talking about one million two hundred fourteen thousand one hundred eight million one hundred eight thousand one hundred eight people have viewed this particular video so you can you can see that this these tags they are working massively for 
for the owner of this channel okay let's look at the channel analytics so that you, you you get a sense of what we're talking about here let do i access that tool again channel analytics channel analytics okay i may have to leave this this place in order to get it let me let me let me go to the channel itself and when i'm when, when i'm there i go to the video uh, tab i usually go to the video type in order to save uh, data because if you are just on the home page of the channel this featured video in the center will be playing and will be consuming your data For some reason, this is just taking too long to to come out. I don't know if this means that okay, finally we are off that uh, data consuming page. Okay, so uh, while we are still at it, you will notice that a number of factors play a role on how popular these videos, uh, you know, how how popular they become the number of views you get and so on and so forth uh your first question was is it advised to search for keywords to use in saving a video before doing so well yeah it, it, like i said depending on what kind of video you want to make it, it, it might be good for you to do your keyword research before doing the video if it is comedy if it is uh um if it is called something like comedy that uh, you can use any kind of title for then making a research for tags to use may not really be that beneficial before production when you are done with your production then you can now add your the usual generic tags that people search for when they are looking for comedy skills to watch you know then the second question was if the video had been saved can the name used in saving it be edited yes we'll get to this particular question in a moment the answer is yes and i'll show you how in a moment but in the meantime let's look at the recipe channel as you can see this channel has 90,000 subscribers and added to the 700 subscribers in the last 30 days. You can imagine now that if you set up a, a recipe channel, you can expect. In fact, why this is, is statistics on this side is very important is that depending on what topic your channel is about, you, 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 you can now have a sense of how how many subscribers you can attract you can be attracting on a, a monthly basis. Like if you have a channel on Nigerian recipes. You, 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 you from from the analysis of this channel which is by the way one of the most popular channels on nigerian recipes on youtube you can see that you can comfortably expect to add about 2700 people per month as subscribers or anywhere in, in, in anywhere in that range you know so then look at the monetization they're making they're making roughly four thousand dollars between four thousand dollars and sixty five thousand dollars monthly from this channel alone so uh, with just 90,000 subscribers and their video views so far they've, they've had 15.8 million people view their videos and they've made about 245 videos on Nigerian food and other recipes so and look at their channel tag they, they have their channel tag here yeah, Nigerian food, Nigerian snacks, Nigerian recipes, Nigerian food recipes, Nigerian soups all Nigerian recipes these are their channel tags these tags are not specific to any particular video they make but these are tags that will help drive people who are searching generally for recipes on youtube towards nigerian related recipes okay so this analysis is very important because sometimes uh, when you when you really want to start a youtube video production one of the one of the one of the things that should drive your decision actually on what kind of channel to set up is this issue of monetization and also this issue of interest level of interest because now when we look at this type of channel like this your recipes channel we can see that there's a high level of interest on the part of the public for this channel 15 million people have looked at recipes on this channel 15 million people that's a high level of interest now what it means and, and and secondly again we should disabuse our mind of this thing called market saturation that too many people are already doing a particular thing no 
too many people may be doing a particular thing but that doesn't mean that you can't come in with your own angle with your own uniqueness think about it when we were in school we had too many teachers teaching english teaching math teaching whatever but nobody ever complained that there are now too many teachers teaching <laughs> teaching all, all kinds of subjects no every, every teacher has their own unique or ability unique talents that they bring to the to the table so there's nothing like saturation before you jump into any business you look at the ability to monetize and what's so interesting about the, this uh, recipes channel let me mention that because i've studied this, ch this channel before well, and that thing that i found so interesting about this channel is that the they don't have any copyright issues there's only like copyright issues you just you just film somebody preparing a particular recipe and this is only you can do about 30 days you can even know uh, i'm just giving you a suggestion now or uh, if you view on this video let's say you want to do recipes you go, you can even organize something like a recipe competition you know it can be a competition or you, or you can just hire some someone who is very good with this type of thing and over, over a period of maybe one week you you shoot about 245 videos each video can be scripted to to take not more than maybe or uh, the average of uh, half an hour so in a day you might just make about uh let's say four, four to five videos a day so in a week you you, you making any, anywhere around the let's see four to five videos per day five by seven that, that we're getting about 10, between 30 35 videos weekly that you make and so within a short production period of like one month you've done all the videos you need for your channel and by the way you don't uh you don't upload all your videos at once or you can even upload all of them but then what you do is you schedule them over a period of one year so they, they they come out maybe one video per week one video per week over a period of one year or even over a period of uh, uh two years it depends on you how you do it uh, is up to you but one thing that is very important on, on youtube is consistency so if you dump all your videos at one and you stop uh, adding more videos then youtube youtube is going to stop paying attention to your channel because they will not know that there's no, no no active management behind this channel but if you schedule your videos to release over a period of one year then they will know that yeah every week we're expecting one one video from this channel so they will keep coming back to check whether you have something new on the channel so i i but i digress this is not like the core thing we're answering uh, the questions we're answering in this video but what i'm saying here is that if for instance you notice that the the subject matter of your channel or the thing you want to channel you want to build your channel around is something that uh often have copyright issues then you can consider diverging into something that has little or no copyright issues like what this uh, particular channel does is to use free uh as in royalty free um music as background music when when they when, when they're doing this channel they don't even have voiceover unless maybe uh, maybe the particular video i watched didn't have any voiceover what you just see on screen is somebody doing something step by step and then screen annotations to show what is going on they don't have voiceover now in the background there will be a copyright free music playing and by the way that copyright free music i can guarantee you that it is from youtube itself so that way now they don't have any copyright issues and they they make all their money coolly every month. You can you can you, you, you can see how much they're making three thousand or uh, anywhere between four thousand and the city three thousand dollars. I don't know if that is per month because I'm not really uh, going deep to know how to body guess all these statistics. Okay. So back to the other question you asked, which is if the video had been saved, can the name using saving it be edited of course of course you can always edit the name using in saving your video uh, i'll answer that question by by looking at uh, my creator da dashboard let me go to my creator, creator creator dashboard you you can always change these things so so in a, in a, in, a, in effect you, you you can go to the to your channel and then you you, you can change any of you can see the edit button here so or uh, let's say i open this one up now i can make any changes i want i can make changes to the title i can make changes to the description i can make changes to changes to the tags to the video tags i can even make changes to the video thumbnail you know we've not talked about thumbnails before now uh the, the thumbnails are the things that people see first before they even click your video to play it and there are there are two ways you can get this thumbnail when you upload a video youtube will automatically generate three thumbnails you can choose any of them uh, like when you're looking at this video you can see they have this thumbnail and they have this other one and they have all this other one these things are appeared within the video you know they, they are friends within the video but 
but I normally do a custom thumbnail. So these custom thumbnails, I do it in, in various ways. I have different ways of do, doing them. Maybe maybe I will do a video where I, I show you the, the different ways you can do your custom thumbnail. Okay, so about back to what we were talking about. You can make changes to your title. See now, you can add anything to this title. I can even add like something like 2017 after uh, how to properly tag your youtube videos 2017 by the way this is my title I, I didn't just i didn't just come up with it i did i did some research because i wanted to see what people are actually typing in when they're looking for how to tag videos and i saw that how to properly tag your youtube videos is one of the search phrases but then of course that's not the only phrase so that's where um other tags now come in so i use this one as my uh, I have no plan to add 2017 to the title because I don't want this video to be a video that's only valid for 2017. It's a how-to video, so it should be valid for all time. Okay, so now other other phrases now that I couldn't bring into the title, I now, I now put them into the tags. But when you put them into the tags, then in the video description, you should find a way to to mention those tags. Not not all the tags, but but like things like like you you can see here we have youtube best practices and what have you so this description i can alter it to make sure that i mention youtube best practice so i could say something like in those videos you discover how to properly tag your youtube videos to increase views and description uh, this uh, subscription uh, views and subscriptions in such a way that you adhere to youtube best practices so that way now uh, so basically i can add in such a way that a way that you adhere to you to YouTube best practices. Okay, so it's not actually all the tags that you mentioned, but as much as them as you can mention in the in the description the better like i have video seo here how optimize uh, so i i can find a way to craft a description that mentions all this uh, and by the way your description is like a short blog post so it doesn't have to be just one paragraph you can do a three paragraph description you can do four paragraph any number any number of paragraphs you like you can you can do uh, description may not really apply much to the videos like comedy videos and what have you so so when you're talking about those kind of videos just one paragraph is enough for you to talk about what happened in the in the in the video so and such descriptions may not even apply to the tags that came after the so for comedy videos the title and the description may not really be all that important but the tags must be there because if you don't have tags related to comedy it might be difficult for youtube to really classify your videos comedy so and uh, while we are still at it let me just once more mention uh, something about uh, you know remember um at the, at the beginning when we we're starting this training and i was analyzing standout tv i noticed that people don't have a default um, channel category now standard tv is an entertainment channel so you must make sure that you categorize it, it as, as, as entertainment because i probably this categorization they play a role when you talk about uh, um uh the youtube algorithm so if you put it as people and blogs i don't really know whether uh, there's some, some kind of impact but i just think that if your channel is entertainment then you should put it as entertainment if your channel is how to tutorials and what have you then you should you should probably consider putting it as education but one thing i noticed too is that some people game the, the uh, categorization thing so when they notice that youtube is paying so much attention to the entertainment channel so even when they are their channel is not entertainment you see them categorizing it as an entertainment i've noticed someone do that and uh, I, I and i said there must be some kind of benefit to this otherwise this person will not do it because this is somebody who is very knowledgeable about youtube actually is even teaching youtube related courses all the time oh, all right so that that, that that will be an answer to that question you can make changes to the title your description and your tags at any time so you can actually go back and uh properly tag all the videos you've uploaded so far you you can even change their title to reflect what actually is going on in the video and you can add some short description or modify them at any time okay the other, the other question is how do one get the names most frequently search there are there are various ways you can use the, the keyword planner tool which you get from google if you sign into your adwords account just use your your gmail 
account make sure you're signing into your gmail account and then go to google adwords then they will ask you to sign into google if you have not done that before you you will not be admitted into google adwords so uh, adwords is the advertising platform so uh, in case in future you decide to advertise your channel you can still use uh, adwords to advertise the channel to attract more sub subscribers but at this point you just sign in they have a tool there they call it the, the key, keyword planner tool and then you can use that to search for related uh, search phrases and what have you again again like i say it depends on uh, the kind of video you're making so if you're if you're an instructional uh, uh, as in if your video is about uh, instruction education and what have you then each time you want to do a video go and do some research and be sure that people are searching for those videos and when you type in one particular phrase like let's, let's say something like how to make videos on iphone then uh, the keyword planner will give you all that phrases that people are searching it will it will even tell you how many people are searching for it on a monthly basis either locally where you are or globally so all these things are very important okay now let's look at another question you said uh, okay sorry and that too you can also use is uh the two body tool they they, they, will, they will give you so, suggested search phrases and what have you i think there's something let me let me see uh they have something called uh, uh, what is the name of that thing? They call it the uh, suggested tags. Oh, sorry. Let me let me click here. Okay. Uh, suggested tags. Yeah. 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 Suggested tags. Not really, not really what I wanted to do. Uh, I, I wanted to do this with respect. I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still getting a hang of this too. But I wanted to do it with respect to this particular video that uh, is showing on my dashboard. Uh, let me see. I think there's somewhere below. Okay, yeah, this is it. Yeah, suggest. So when you click the the suggested uh, tags, they they, they they will give you suggested tag for search, and they also give you suggested tag for related. So when they're done running the analysis, they they, 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 they give, you, give you other keywords that you can use as tags or that you can even incorporate in the title of your video. And these are real tags that people are putting into YouTube in order. So this is a very powerful tool. If you can upgrade, if you're, if you're, if you're a serious content producer, it might, be, it might be good for you to upgrade to the premium version. I think it's about, uh, I've not actually checked their pricing, but I think it's about either $10 per month or something like that. So something you pay, you can pay, you, you, you can do an annual, annual payment and again i think they it, 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 since your channel is new they have this uh, this thing they call uh, uh discount for new people uh, somebody that is new to youtube programming i think they give like 50 percent discount so whoever you are paying only three dollars per month okay you, you, you can see they said for search but it concerns this particular video now i can use things like uh, youtube tag properly uh tags uh, but, what they, but they're not they're not telling me they are showing me only five out of 66 to two results so if i want to see all the results i have to upgrade my license well at this point i'm not interested in upgrading my license the reason is that by taking this how to properly tag your youtube videos i can go to keyword planner which is a free google tool and i'll see other phrases that i that i can i can use to tag my video so i don't really need to do any upgrade at this point until my channel becomes uh, useful and is generating money there's no point spending money or you know doing any kind of research for it so there's something else we're going to talk in talk about in another video and that's uh, something called play uh, playlist and why it is important because if you look at most of these channels let's look at ay's channel for instance you see that you can see these channel tabs you have the home tab you have the, the videos you have the playlists then you have the channels and what have you so if you go to play, play playlist is just a way of organizing the videos on your channel like this one that i'm doing for for youtube or training uh my playlist for it is called the youtube creator essential training if i do another one for maybe uh, where i teach people how to use social media or facebook or whatever i can have a playlist for my facebook videos uh, i can have a playlist for motivation i can have a playlist for whatever it depends on what on what your channel is all about like standard tv will have a playlist for african music videos Af african music or uh, dance videos or hip-hop dance videos or whatever or choreography videos playlists so and this playlist you set them up by you know when you click on this button here i think it's this button yeah uh no 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 not this one when you click on this button 
Uh -huh. When you click on this button, you can see where they say create new playlist. So when you click on create new playlist, you get to you get to give, give that playlist a name and then you can click the create button. You can click the create button. Alright, I think uh alright, so the last question here is uh Okay, so that question was the last. This question we just answered now is how do you uh, do you want to get the names most frequently searched? Yeah, you use keyword planner tool and you can use the two body tool, especially if you are using the premium version. They they they, they give the names most frequently searched. And that why I do it. Like for me that I, I, I'm doing instructional videos. And that why I do it is I search for similar instructional videos on YouTube and I use the keyword uh, the two body tool to check out what tags they are using because these other guys they may have the premium version of the, uh, the TubeBuddy too so TubeBuddy has already told them what tags people put in when they are looking for those videos and that's what they use for instance when I was doing this uh, video on tagging uh, YouTube video I checked out some premium channels and I saw that these were the tags they were using so I collected from here, collected from there, collected from them and I and I now arrange them and I arrange them and use them for my own so you can see how you can do some of these things back doors so that's that's why we're human beings you just use your brain you know so it was sometimes when you can't pay for something but actually this tool will save you time it is time it will save you but since you don't have m money to maybe upgrade or you're, you're not yet at the point where you will upgrade then you, you will not spend that time in research you know so it's still the same thing you you you, you take out the time and you do the research so is it that you use to body the premium tool or you use a keyword planner to to get to to get some of the phrases, and then you use the keyboard uh, the two body tool in reverse too by looking at some other channels, what keywords they are using, what tags they are using, and then you you pick and select from among those and using your own video. All right, the last thing you asked here was, how can one make sure your videos among the first to appear on search engines? Well, the truth of the matter is that that one is not really under your control. The only thing you can do is to make sure you optimize your video. Optimizing your video means title it for title, title it properly do a proper description and then do a pro, do proper tagging also um 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 uh, put it in a playlist because these are these are these are like youtube best practices so once you've done all these other things it's left for uh, youtube itself to decide whether your video should appear at the top of the search engine or not but if you do most of these things co correctly most of most of the time your video will somehow make its way into into the onto the top of the search engine especially if your video is delivering value that's why if you're doing comedy you have to make sure your comedy they are really funny and what have you you know if you're, if you're doing a choreography then you have to use really talented dance dancers you know and you have to be mindful of their costume and things like that you know things that will just make the, the whole production quality to be high uh, of course you have to use hd videos because i'm, I'm sure that yeah, YouTube is have some kind of algorithmic preference for high definition videos because obviously high definition videos uh, deliver more value to the viewer in terms of clarity of the videos, uh, quality of the sound, and what have you. So, so many things go into this. So, the only thing you can do, we are not the owners of the YouTube platform. YouTube is there to deliver value to their audience, the people coming to YouTube to watch videos. That that's what they are there for, and they are looking for channels that are delivering value. So the only thing you can do to help YouTube is to do the things they say you should do: properly tie your video, describe it properly, and then use the proper tags, and then put it in a playlist. They will look at all those factors, and then they will now use it to put your video where it's supposed to belong in the search engine. All right, I don't want to continue this uh, uh, video because it's getting too long, but I think it's an interesting video, and uh, I think we have really looked at so many. There, there are so many other things I wanted to look at, like the Omakenjos. Um, okay, we've looked at this one. Uh, um, okay, when we talk about uh, YouTube or network, uh, I, I need to mention this, but uh, it's something we'll talk, talk about in another video. All right, so at this point, I think we can uh, stop this particular video now.